Nice and cool. Mm, comfort. Hello and welcome to another episode of Eric the Car Guy. Recently had a question from a new subscriber, uh, Radical Comedy, about her air conditioning system and asked if I had any videos about air conditioning systems and I do not. So today we're going to cover the basics of your AC system. Now's the part where I may give you like some cool graphic to look at. Pictured here are five major components of the automotive AC system. Up front, the, in the high pressure side of the system, you have the condenser which is mounted in front of the radiator. Uh, behind that, you have the compressor which moves refrigerant throughout the system and is driven by a belt on the front of the engine. Uh, behind that, you have the evaporator which is inside the passenger compartment which is the low pressure side of the system. It's basically where you get your cold from. This little guy down here at the bottom is uh, a metering orifice. Now there are several different ways of doing this and several different types of these. Uh, but basically what this does is this works off of the pressure temperature relationship of the refrigerant. I'm going to go over that in a minute. And then lastly we have the uh, receiver dryer. And what this does is this removes moisture from the AC system. Moisture inside the AC system will compromise its efficiency. It really won't work as good if there's a lot of moisture in there. So they put this little guy in here to take the moisture out. To demonstrate the pressure temperature relationship, uh, I'm assuming that you're watching this on a computer and you may have this stuff that you use to uh, dust off your keyboard or sometimes you might open it up and do the motherboard or whatever. But uh, if you notice, when you spray for a long period of time, what happens is the can starts to get cold. Now why is that? The liquid inside of this can is at a high pressure. When you let it out through this small hole, it turns into a lower pressure. So it goes from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. Because the material goes from a, a high pressure to a low pressure, it basically takes heat with it. And really what an air conditioning system is, is a heat exchanger. It takes the heat from inside your car and moves it outside the car. Now down in front of the radiator, this is not your radiator. This is actually the condenser. And this is where the heat from inside the car is transferred to the outside. Really thin thing. This is the radiator and this is the condenser itself. Now that condenser is connected by lines down to the compressor, which I've got something else. These are those lines, and these are the service fittings, and then they run down inside the car. Now this guy is the compressor, and this is driven by a belt on the front of your engine. Now normally, this thing can just freewheel and spin, but when you press the button to activate the air conditioner, there's an electromagnetic clutch that activates and causes this whole thing to spin as a unit. That's that clicking noise you hear underneath the hood as this is running. And this turns the pistons inside this assembly itself and uh, refrigerant is taken in and pumped out. This guy here is the evaporator. And this is what lives inside your dash. This is basically the cold side. And what you'll notice here is something called an expansion valve. This expansion valve is basically that small hole on the spray air, remember? That and this are virtually the same thing. But this is works like a throttle and it opens and closes the size of that hole depending upon refrigerant demand. And they also don't want this whole thing to turn into a giant block of ice. All right, now we've gone over the major components of the AC system. Briefly covered how it works. Uh, basically I've done this just to give you an overview of the parts and what their what their function is. Servicing an AC system yourself is something I don't recommend and I, I don't recommend this for a number of reasons. Uh, not only does the average person not possess the proper equipment to do so but whenever you remove major components from an AC system 
uh, you need to replace a, a given amount of oil into that system. Uh, the system has its own lubricant that goes throughout the entire circuit and if there isn't a proper amount there it could cause a problem either being too much or too little so that's something to be mindful of also moisture in the system which is going to happen anytime you open the AC system up is is also detrimental to its operation and could possibly damage components as well so if you're not a trained professional I don't re recommend uh, doing anything with your AC system on your own I do recommend taking it to a professional and having it done uh, I hope this information was helpful to you. I do like the uh, questions that I've been getting lately from you. Uh, feel free to send me any questions you like. Uh, it actually gives me uh, something to look forward to as far as making these videos. And lets me know what you're interested in knowing. You can always visit me at ericthecarguy.com. Thank you. Stay dirty.